Hey, what up crew? It's your man Argat coming at you with another episode. Uh, it's going to be a recap from our war against a uh, level 13 Chinese clan. Um, fair play clan. These guys uh, put up a put up a good fight. They even uh, gave a gave a shout out with a good luck in their clan description when we matched. Um, so hats off to these guys. Uh, kept it classy. Appreciated that a whole lot. Um, <clears throat> giving a good name to the Chinese uh, Clash of Clans community, so shout out to these guys. Um, we brought home the W, uh, missed on five stars, and uh, they can only put up 65, cleared all the nines, only missed on two of the tens, and weren't able to two-star their top base. Uh, Skyline went 11 v 11, put up a 77% one star. Uh, they just weren't able to clear our tens. Uh, Venge got taken down and they uh, cleared all of our nines so uh, <clears throat> go through our side of things here uh, Porsche had a three star on their number four 11 v 10 uh, Irish with the dip six pack uh, 11 v 10 Skyline had 11 v 10 uh, so we were perfect on dips um, <clears throat> uh, firepower with the 80 percent on their number seven tough go uh, Sudzy with a 74% on a town hall, on 10v10 uh, Blade put up a 2 star on their number 2 so awesome job to Blade uh, Chaz dipped and nuked 9's uh, Venge dipped and nuked a 9 uh, 0 fresh hit trip uh, Ked with a clean up 3 Badman fresh hit 3 uh, Carl Hungus with the fresh hit 6 pack very nice Perry with a six pack, one of those a fresh hit. K Clan with a six pack, one of uh, fresh hit six pack. Um, those are both tens. So, uh, Sparky, nice job on putting up uh, two stars on tens. Uh, Firepower with a fresh hit three. I had a fresh hit three. Hooray! Uh, <laughs> Cloudy with a clean up three. Uh, Chaz Jr. with a six pack, one of those a fresh hit. So, awesome job to everyone over at the crew. Uh, let's go ahead and get things started here with Chaz. I love these two witches that he brought. Uh, so he's coming at it with a shattered uh, go hobo. Golem in here, golem in here. A pair of wizards and two both witches out here. So there's nothing to shoot at these witches until they get in range of this mortar. Uh, minion here for a free building. Baby dragon here on the storage. Just really setting the funnel. Drops the jump spell down nice and early. Uh, gets him into the queen. So everything's just uh, royals and bowlers go down right into that jump. Uh, poison down on the enemy CC troops. Drops the rage down. Uh, <clears throat> bowlers step up into that rage, start working on that storage. Uh, a rock from a bowler takes out the king altar and forces the rest of his bowlers back up in. Well, three of the four, three of the five. Uh, Golem runs across, trips a giant bomb, which is perfect. Uh, hits the queen ability to power through the CC. She knocks out the enemy queen as well. Might have been a little early on the queen ability there. Uh, and then starts the hogs. In they come. So making that uh, counterclockwise motion with his hog deployment. Uh, just three big groups. Uh, drops the heal spell down. First heal spell down on uh, giant bomb. Second heal spell down. Covers the bomb tower. Right here with the expo. Uh, so hogs get healed most of the way back up. Uh, still sitting on a loon and two cleanup whizzies. Uh, so loses the hog, the one hog that split off onto this cannon. The cannon's almost down. Uh, <clears throat> hogs are going to run their way back across the base. Uh, drops that loon down opposite side of the defenses because he doesn't want to deal with the uh, air defense. Waited a little too, a little long, but that's all right. Uh, I really think that this loon here helped save his raid. <laughs> um, otherwise, he would have had wizards pounding on a wall or waited on the hogs to get back across the base. But awesome job, Chaz. Way to wreck that 69k. Alright. Uh, Alright. So I decided to uh, go with the Golem Bowler Witch on this base. Um, I dropped a jump, my fat finger to jump. Uh, dropped the golem here to draw fire from the wizard tower. Golem out here. 
and wall breakers in on the cannon. Uh, I have baby drags out wide and had a witch here to take out this army camp to force the rest of my witches to go in. Jump spell down into the first compartment here. I'm just pushing everything through. Everything's just cruising right along. There's that fat fingered jump spell here. Um, it winds up working out for me because these witches peel off and go this way. Um, and I've got to jump into the queen for the skellies to take. <laughs> um, so I've already healed through the bomb tower, giant bomb, dropped the rage down here to push the bowlers and the larrys in through the rest of the base. Uh, kind of ran out of funneling gas on the uh, on the 12 to 3 side up here. But a pair of bowlers peel off and basically do the same job for me, which was great. Um, <clears throat> wishing, I, Really wishing I had that jump to get into the, this set of compartments here. Uh, but I don't. I uh, still have my queen ability, though. Plenty of... I still have these, like, three witches down here that are just going to push up around this side of the base. Uh, queen ability still has t a ton of health left. Uh, this was closer than I wanted it to be, but uh, right attack for the base, mediocre execution at best. <laughs> uh, so Queen's going to step up and knock out that wizard tower, and the only thing left that's a real threat now is that mortar, and I just, it fires too slow. I've got too much witch, too much skeleton, and that's all she wrote. Yay me. I felt really good to, d to get that fresh hit three. I haven't done that in a very long time in a good war. Pause for the coffee there. <clears throat> All right. Um, <laughs> Firepower two. Coming at it with the stone hobo. Nice, tight, compact base. Definitely set up to be anti-air. So it sends in golems here, hangs on to that last golem, smartly, uh, Wizzy's on the outside doing work, still has two in the bag for the backside cleanup, goes ahead and drops the royals in, no wall breakers for this one, so drops the jump down here to get him into the bomb tower, uh, has a second jump, a rage and a heal still, uh, CC pull is out. This whole first layer of stuff is toast. So the bowlers don't have anywhere to go but in and take that jump. Uh, tons going on. Bowlers sitting in a rage. Second jump down to get him into the queen here. Oops. Hog's coming in on the sides there. So he's just like pinchering the base essentially. Sort of. So send in here, here, and then the rest of them in here and has used his heal spell, so doesn't have a heal for the hogs at this point. Um, has already knocked out two giant bombs and the bomb tower there, so still has a couple of giant bombs he's got to worry about, but uh, they can't be anywhere on the inside of the base, so he's good to go on that front. Hits the queen ability, Tesla goes down, and we got hogs on storage as y'all. Uh, swags the poison, wound up not needing it, probably has skeleton traps on air. Drops that poison down on the CC, and Firepower 2 brings home the fresh hit 3 on a 69k. Nice hit, Firepower. Alright, and Cake Clan. Let's see. Yeah, this is the stoned Gobo Lalo. So it only has 12 balloons and 9 wizards. Now, I love this wizard here. He takes out the mortar, drops it inside the uh, the no-hit zone, uh, and gets four or five buildings, uh, four buildings with one wizard, one, two, three, four, and then this archer tower is going to pick him off. But uh, great, great value on a wizard there. Uh, first golem is down, coming in here at this mortar. Royals are down already. Uh, second golem is going to take a hike out to this mortar. I don't know that that's exactly what he wanted to happen, but uh, so jump spell down here. Third golem in to take the jump. Second or uh, first golem comes in, takes the jump. Royals redirect, come in and take the jump. So this is sort of like a naked queen walk, so to speak. Uh, had the golems doing the tanking instead of having the healers on the queen. 
uh, drops the rage down for the bowlers. Uh, double poison down on the queen or on the uh, enemy CC troops. Trips giant bomb. Not that he needed it because it's an air attack, but um, <clears throat> and so the king is trying to rip through this wall to get at the enemy queen. Um, his queen is landlocked at this point. Uh, decides that he can't waste any time with it. Starts throwing in some ha or some loons here. God, I really want this to be a hog attack. Uh, fans in more balloons here. A couple more balloons in here. Where's that hound? Uh, the hound came in here on this mortar, hastes the balloons in, pushes them into the wizard tower, which is perfect. Uh, second haste spell down here. And still has a rage. And he's going to save for these last three defenses and deal with the... Uh, get at those skeleton traps. Rage goes down there. Last three defenses go down. And we got hogs on... Or hogs, loons on storage, as y'all... Uh, never gets the king down. Enemy queen finally died. I think his queen took her out. And his only hound never popped. So, uh, still has a golemite up, hound up, bunch of balloons. Nice hit, K-Clan. Absolutely smashed a 70k with the stone to go bow Lalo. Very nice, man. Alright. <clears throat> My man Perry. Coming out with the shattered Gobo Lalo. So first golem in here. Pack a tight pack of wizards here. Uh, really wants to set this edge and probably force his way in here. Drop the jump here. And gets him into three air defenses with two golems. Uh, second set of wizards on the outside here. Yes indeed. <laughs> So nice natural channel to push his troops up into and get into the core of the base with one jump and two golems. Uh, drops the rage spell down for the bowlers. Has a heal for them as well if he needs it. Uh, King's going to take the jump, knock out the bomb tower. Uh, queen's going to hop the wall. Pops the king ability to take out the queen. Gets some skeleton traps as a bonus. Excuse me. Uh, hits the queen ability probably a little early, but uh, what are you going to do? So, Hound in here, Loons, Loons, drops that Haste down right here, covers them through to the Wizard Tower, uh, Heal Spell for the Loons and the Bowlers, nice. Not that he really needed it, but, uh, so second Hound came in long way across the top of the base, soaking up that Seeking Air Mine, and Loons, the backside Loons to go with it, so this, man, God, this is beautiful, Perry, good lord, man. Uh, so Haste really accelerated this pack of balloons into the wizard tower. Uh, just has to get that air defense taken care of. Uh, still has like three or four bowlers up. Uh, still has a loon in the bag just because. Uh, can drop that backside here to help take out the storages. Uh, last cannon's going to go down and we got loons on storages, y'all. So four of his five bowlers are still alive. Pups all over the place. Uh, loon does come in and take out the storage here. And that's going to be all she wrote. So awesome job, Perry. Absolutely smashed it with a beautiful, beautiful shattered Gobo Lalo. Nice, nice job, man. No wall breakers needed. So that's, that's the kind of stuff where you tailor an army to a base. All right. And my man Carl. Let's check it out. Golem Bowler Witch, not surprising. He is the master when it comes to the Shattered Gobo Wee Wee. <laughs> uh, only two wizards, cracks me up. Uh, so decides to come in here with witches on the sides to set the funnel. Golems come in here. Comes in right at the Tesla farm. So that's awesome, actually, that he's going to take that out with the golems tanking for him. Uh, drops the jump spell down, gets him into the queen and the king, for that matter. And he's going to take out two wizard towers with one jump and a rage. Uh, second jump down here. So now it's just a matter of making sure he jumps across the base like he wants to. Uh, probably going to go down somewhere like this for the last jump. Uh, has a couple of backside loons. Edge is set here. Uh, which has kind of got caught up on the town hall here. So hopefully the witches and the skellies can get ahead and meet up with the rest of the main push. So 
only a little bit behind. Golem trips a giant bomb, which is exactly what you want. Uh, third jump spell does indeed go down here on the uh, air defense. Queen still up, has her ability. She's at full health, which is as it should be. Uh, she pops out that cannon there. She gets kind of hung up on a wall. Uh, loons are in backside here, uh, opposite the air defense. And these witches do finally catch up with the main push of the base. And it's just a matter of plowing through. Cannon goes down. So he has a loon. Oh, man. Clutch two loons, man. Got an amazing value out of those two balloons. Awesome job, Carl, on the Max Town Hall 9. Alrighty then. And to finish things off, your fearless leader. He's a bad man. Uh, coming at it with the stoned hobo. Ten wizards. Wow, oh, nice. Uh, just needs to be mindful of the corner structures there. Uh, so comes in here and here with his first two golems. Um, I like how he shaded this golem toward this side of the archer tower so it doesn't go to the mortar and comes to this archer tower instead. Nice touch. A uh, bunch of wizards to deal with that humongous funnel he's got to deal with uh, because of the two layers of the trash out here. Uh, still has two wizards, though. Doesn't immediately need them. Test wall breaker goes in, trips the small bomb. And CC pull is out. Poison down on the baby dragon. Valk peeled off weird. Uh, king, queen, and bowler's all down. Leading right into that poison. Because he hasn't dropped the jump. Did he have a wall breaker fail? Looks like it. I missed I missed him dropping the other three wall breakers. Um, that dark elixir drill up there is probably going to be... Well, no, he's got two archers. So he'll be fine. Uh, so rage spell down here for the bowlers. Awesome, awesome value on the rage. Pops the poison on the queen, which is perfect. Slows down her attack rate. Uh, and you're free to hog, sir. So I'm just making that counterclockwise motion off of his kill squad. Heal spell down for the Teslas there. And second heal spell down here. Not dealing with the king. Uh, bowlers are going to step up, knock out a skelly spell, which or skelly trap, which is perfect. Uh, and then just kind of has to power through these Teslas with no heal. He's going to run out of hogs. He just doesn't have enough hog left. It's going to be the queen and the king and his, the rest of his kill squad powering through the rest of the base. It's got a little lucky with this one, bad man. But, uh, you know, some days it's better to be lucky than good. Uh, but because of that strong, heavy kill squad, his queen was still at near full health and had her ability. And bad man brings home the three on a 70k. Awesome, awesome work, bad man. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed the Town Hall 9 content. Uh, we've gone hog wild lately uh, because the bases are just not as spread out trying to defend against witches. Um, so uh, until then, that's going to do it for this one. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm out.